learning outcomes. By the end of this chapter, students should be able to explain the concepts of time value of money, use the compound amount formula to find the future value, compound interest, and present value of investments and loans. Time value of money is referring to the opportunity to gain extra money after an investment for a period of time at any bank or financial company. The profit gains are based on the amount of interest rate offered and its time value. In different words, it means that the more you invest, or the longer you invest, the more profits you will gain. Time value of money involves two concepts which are, one, compounding, process of finding future values, two, discounting, process of finding present values. In previous topic, we study about the simple interest where ones will earn interest based on the initial deposit or the interest only calculated once during the investment process. In other words, the interest is paid on the principal value. Alternatively, the interest can be compounded. In compounding, we calculate the interest periodically over the borrowing money and add it to the principal. This adjusted principal, old principal plus interest then becomes the principle for the next calculation of interest. This process of adding interest to the principle before interest is calculated for the next period, is called compounding interest. In compounding interest, we say that, we earn interest on our interest. Example, let us use an example to compare between simple and compound interest. Assume, Mr. Corvid, an investor, invests RM, 10,000 for two years at a simple interest rate of 10%. So, Mr. Corvid earn a total interest of RM 2000 on this investment, making the maturity value RM 12000. Now, suppose that Mr. Micron invests RM 10000 for six months, also at a 10% interest rate. Then, Mr. Imicron would have, RM 10,500, at the end of his six months of investment. Assume that, Mr. Imicron then reinvests this RM 10,500, for another six months, a 10% interest rate. He would earn, RM525 on his second investment, making the total amount, RM11025. If this procedure were repeated each six months, until two years had passed, Mr. Imicron would have made four investments and the computations would be as follows.
Thus, after two years of investing, Mr. Amica and original principal would have amounted to, RM 12,155.06. Mr. Corvid only made RM 12,000 after his single two year of investment. Mr. Amikaran made RM 155.06 more interest by making successive short term investment. The investment made by Mr. Amikaran is called the compound interest. In compound interest, every time the interest is computed, the interest is added to the previous principal, that total then becomes the principal for the next interest period. Thus, the money accumulated faster for the compound interest because interest turned on interest as well as on the principal compared to, simple interest. Important Terms Some important terms used in this compound interest are, A. Original principal, denoted by P, is the original amount invested. B, annual interest rate, denoted by K, is the interest rate calculated in a year. C, interest period, the length of time, T, in which the interest is calculated. D, frequency of conversion, denoted by M, is the number of times the interest is calculated in a year. E, periodic interest rate denoted by I, is the interest rate for each interest period given by I, is equal to K over M, F, number of interest periods in the investment periods, denoted by N, is the number of times the interest is calculated, given by N, is equal to M times T. The following example will help you understand these terms. HiFi invests RM10,000 for 5 years at a rate of 10% compounded quarterly. Original principal, denoted by P, the initial investment or the original amount invested. The original principal in this case is P equals 10,000. Annual nominal rate or nominal interest rate, denoted by K. The interest rate for a year together with the frequency in which interest is calculated in a year. In this case, the annual nominal rate is given by K equals 10% compounded quarterly, interest is calculated 4 times a year. We write K equals 10% equals 0 0.1. Interest period or conversion period, the length of time in which interest is calculated. Thus, the interest period, in this case, is 3 months. Frequency of conversion, denoted by M, the number of times interest is calculated in a year. In this case, M equals 4. Periodic interest rate, denoted by I, the interest rate for each interest period. Thus, the periodic interest rate, in this case, is given by I equals K over M, equals 0 0.025. Number of interest periods in the investment period denoted by N, the number of times interest is calculated. For this case, N equals M times T equals 20. 